My name is Micah Defoe. Um, I'm studying at the Brit School and today I will be performing uh, Iago from Othello, Sophia from Two Ladies, um, Little Mortal Flesh Keep Silence and a devising piece inspired by gays. I will be doing the character Iago from the play Othello. Oh, so contempt you. I follow him, but to serve my turn upon him. We cannot all be masters, nor all masters cannot be truly followed. You shall mark many a duteous and knee croaking knave that dotting on his own obsequious bondage wears out his time like his master's ass. For naught but provender, and when he is old, cash it. Whip me such an honest knave. I think there are who trimmed in forms and visage of duty, keeping their hearts attending to themselves, throw but shows of service to their lords. And do well and thrive by them, and when they have lined their coats, do themselves homage. These fellows have soul, and such one I do profess myself. For, sir, as you are, Rodrigo, were I the more, I would not be Iago. In following him, I followed but myself, not I for love and duty, but seeming so for my peculiar end. For when my outward action doth demonstrate the native act and figure of my heart, in compliment extend, not tis not long after, I will wear my heart upon my sleeves for doors to peck at. I am not what I am. I'll be playing the character Sophia from the play Two Ladies. This town was on the coast, beautiful part of the country. I loved it there. And many evenings I would sit on this wall and sing my legs in my all-American jeans. And I got attention, which I liked. And my cousin, she had this boyfriend. He was political and passionate. And <laughs> he would let me have a sip of his vodka or a beer. And he would talk about how many hearts I must have broken in the village and how many boyfriends I must have had. I liked this man, um, but then one night, five or six weeks maybe into my stay, he comes over with three of his friends and say they want to take me on a drive. It was late, but my mother's cousin didn't object, and I didn't object either, because as I said, I liked this man. So. I go into his van and we're driving up some hill. And as we're driving up some hills, I realize I don't see any houses. There, there are no houses where we are driving and I start to feel afraid. I start to panic. And, and, I, and I say, I, I don't like this anymore. I, I wanna go back. But my cousin's boyfriend says I'm being stupid, that they're taking me to a party. But, but I don't like it anymore. I want to go home. I want to go home. And so I start screaming. I start screaming and I'm screaming. And they stop the van. And the one sitting next to me, the one that I do not know, tells me to go back. I do not. So the man in the front comes and him and his friend push me back, undo my buttons and pull my knickers onto my knees. And he shoves his fist inside me. And he tells me to shut up or he would do it again. And he laughs at me, 
He laughs at me when I cry. He laughs at me when I piss myself. And then the other one gets on top. And then the other one. And then the first one. Whilst my cousin's boyfriend is outside the van smoking a cigarette whilst these three men do what you can imagine worse than you can imagine. I'll be singing Little Mortal Flesh Keep Silent. Little mortal flesh keep silence and with fear and trembling stand. Ponder nothing earthly minded, for with blessing in his hand, Christ I got to earth descended. Our full homage to demand. King of kings, yet born of Mary, as on old on earth he stood. Lord of lords in human vesture, in the body and the blood, he will give to all the faithful, his own self for heavenly food. My name is Michael Defoe and I'll be doing a devising piece inspired by the gaze. Four C, four B, four A. Three C, three B, three A. 2C, 2B, 2A, 1C, 1B, 1A, those letters and numbers insignificant to those who have not lived my story or any story with skin darker than my shade, light brown and dark, three words which decide how others see you in life, personality predetermined with one look within a mile away, light hated by women and dark hated by men but none of that matters when the hate comes from within relax and restraint now becomes your best friend at the age of five trying to hide that curl trying to hide any connection to the motherland when you don't meet the beauty standard because of someone chosen genes when the width of your nose decides whether you're put on a billboard or a tv screen when others feel they can freely say what they want because you are closer to them when your confidence is determined whether your hair runs with the wind. That is the story of every girl that has to fight with her curls every morning and every night. But what every girl with this story forgets to know is that within every curl, every plait, and every tear, there is beauty within that that light brown and dark glimmer and shimmer in the sun, that every part of you was chosen by your mother, grandmother and great grandmother and there is beauty within that. But most importantly, your, your beauty comes from within, not in your makeup, your scars and your shame. So I am not my hair and I am not my skin. I am the soul that shines from within.